Now, we're going to be tempted, but it's important that we understand um, where our temptations even come from. If you would, turn to James chapter 1. James chapter 1 explains a little bit about our temptations. See, sermon, we need to take heed lest we fall. And why we need to take heed is because we're going to be tempted. Okay, there's going to be temptations coming our way. And temptations, another word for temptation is just a testing. That's all it is, a temptation, it's a testing, it's a trial. And you'll see in James chapter 1, look at verse number 12 of James chapter 1. It says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, see, notice that a man that endureth temptation for when he is tried. A temptation is a trial, something that's trying you. He shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Verse number 13, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. So, first of all, understand that when you're tempted, when you're tried like that, it's not coming from God. God is not the one who's putting you, who, who's putting this, this sinful desire or this, you know, the, the opportunity to sin in front of your face. You're not tempted of God. God doesn't tempt any man, it says right here, with evil. But look at verse 14, it says, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. It's your own heart that's tempting you. It's your own heart of, of why you even have this struggle with sin. It's not coming from God. The temptation isn't coming from God where God's gonna, gonna you know, put a, a scantily clad woman in front of your face to see if you're gonna lust after her. God's not doing that. It's your own lust, it's your own heart that's drawing you away that is tempting you. It says in verse 15, it says, Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. The, the tempting comes from your own heart, and that's where the sin comes from, that's where the lust comes from. However, we could have, uh, flip back if you would to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, back where we were, I should have told you to keep a finger there. Even though we're going to be tempted, even though we're going to go through this stuff, and, it's, and we have a sinful heart, it's important to understand that God's not going to allow us to go through too much temptation. See, it's also important to note here, too, that there's temptation. The, another name for the devil is the tempter. G, uh, the devil, is, Satan is referred to as the tempter twice in the Bible. And um, he's going to be tempting you. He's going to be pulling on, on the strings of your heart, of the, the sin strings of your heart. He's going to be the one that's going to try to get you to stumble and to fall into sin. It's not God. God's not the one. God doesn't want you to get into sin. God doesn't want you to, 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 to screw up and backslide and get into these things. But the devil does. The devil's trying to keep you away from God. But here's the thing, is that God won't allow him to do too much to where you won't be able to bear it. See, God only allows the temptations to happen to where you're still capable of overcoming that. If we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, look at verse number 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to to bear it. Now, he's saying, first of all, no temptation is taking you, but such is a common to man. We all go through the same trials. Everybody has these temptations. It's common, okay? We have a sinful nature. It's common. There's, there's certain things, especially like the sins he listed, fornication, that's a common temptation. Idolatry, that's a common temptation. Murmuring, complaining against God, that's a common temptation. These are common to man. But God is faithful. He says he will not suffer you, which means allow you to. He's not going to suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. We all have a breaking point. God knows that we're, that we're human and that we can only bear or take so much weight and so much burden. And he's saying that with the temptation, whatever temptations that we need to go to, that we're going to go through, the temptations that are common to man, he says he's also going to make a way to escape 
that you may be able to bear it. Now, not everybody does escape. Not everyone chooses to, but he's going to give you that out. He's going to make a way so that it's not too much for you to handle. Now, that doesn't mean you're never going to be tempted. But what he's doing here, especially what he's doing is saying that, look, the responsibility is still on you to choose to do what's right. Any temptation that you're going through, just remember this, anything that you're going through, any struggle, any temptation you're going through, it's not too much. You might think in your mind that it's too much. You might get to the point where you think, I can't take this anymore. I can't handle this. God will not allow you to go through too much. He, will, he might bring you right up to that point. He might let you get right to that point, but you're not going to go over that. Anything you're going through, and we can take comfort in that. Anything that you're going through, any temptation you have, it's never going to be too much. There is a way to escape from that. Now, you have to have your eyes open to it. You have your heart ought to be in a place to where you want to escape from the sin. Don't, don't let your heart get to the point where you want to get into that sin and, and fall into that temptation and just, and just embrace it and engulf it. God will have that way for you to escape, but the choice is going to be yours. The choice is up to you on what you're going to do and how you're going to handle that temptation. Will you stay true to God? Will you, you know, just keep his word in your heart and your mind and avoid it and, and, and resist it? Resist the devil and he shall flee from you, the Bible says. But you have to resist him. 